stereotypes all in my head. I remember doing the math, like, yeah, I'm good at Little League. A preconceived idea of what it all meant for those that like the same sex. Hi, um, my name is Maya. I am a junior at Duchenne, and this is called Butterflies in Church. My grandmother is a woolen butterfly, furled and foiled within her sweater hands, roped against her chest loose knots, woven with azure veins. She nests in her armchair, unfolds herself, and she is a flower, petals pushed into a halo to receive the sun. She draws her socks off, folds them like wrinkled snakeskin on the arms of her chair, her lips peel into a sleepy smile, fruit of a lazy afternoon, lemon light spilling through tilted shades, puddling in buttery pools on the floor. This is the time of my childhood, dust motes dancing across my retinas, pudgy fingers splayed across the soft blue carpet because we had just come from the zoo. With its parade of animals and macaroni and cheese at the treetop cafe and knowing I was the luckiest girl in the entire universe because I got to sit by the big glass window and watch the monkeys swing back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and my grandmother would entwine her fingers like loving tree branches through mine. Fast forward a few years and those afternoons were spilled into early school years. Afternoons peppered with my high-pitched voice telling stories about my school day, about falling off the monkey bar and skinning my knee and the peanut butter and jelly sandwich at lunchtime and the poems tacked on the bulletin board in my classroom and my grandmother would smile and nod her head because she is such a good listener and I knew I could tell her anything. A few years later, my knuckles were knobbier, crunched against the carpet all the same, and she would read reports cobbled together out of our adventures at a goat ranch, a lavender farm, an ancient museum. They were the most magnificent adventures because my friends at school were never so lucky, never so blessed to be gifted with homeschool field trips with the best grandmother. So, and then, With such an amazing grandmother and her fingers would scuttle across the cobblestones of my loopy letters and tell me it was perfect. And it wasn't, with its garbled grammar and mild misspellings, but to her it was, and that was all that mattered. And then the living room shifted, tilted and melted. It became a new cathedral, a temple to afternoon catnaps and long conversations. And I just want to say, as I stand here in front of a microphone, Grandma Omo, I have found a new hymn to sing to the afternoons we spent in the church of your living room, so thank you, Omo, for more than you know.